I'm Dr. Hadar Spivak, and in this segment, I'm going to go over with you about the theory behind the three main operations against obesity that we have. First, we have to understand that every time we sort of build an operation, we build it using two segments. One is the restrictive segment, and the other is the maldigestion, some people call it malabsorption segment. For example, the restriction segment is when we restrict the flow of food from the mouth to the rest of our gut. And that can be done by stapling, with a band, that can be done by cutting the stomach very narrow. But we don't change anything else. We don't move things around. The maldigestion or the malabsorption part is different. In this way, we let the food go in. But when the food goes in, we change the station or the order of the stations that the food has to go through. By doing so, we will create a maldigestion issue. The patient is not going to digest the food correctly. And later I'll talk about whether it's maldigestion or malabsorption. Now, every operation that has the name bypass has a maldigestion or malabsorption there. Every operation that has malabsorption or maldigestion is stronger in terms of weight loss comparing to operations or procedures that only have the restrictions. Gastric bypass, for example, has both, has maldigestion, because we change the anatomy below the stomach, but it also has restriction because we make a very small pouch. The lab band has only restriction. The band that we place on top of the stomach does not change anything else besides placing restriction on the very top part of the stomach. Well, the gastric sleeve mostly has restriction by making the stomach very, very narrow. The placement of this device on top part of the stomach is very reversible. It's a restrictive operation which is very reversible. It does not change anything. We don't cut anything. We don't staple anything. Yes, some suture will need to be placed, not through the band, but in a certain way to keep the band in place. Restriction only. There is no maldigestion. There is no malabsorption. The second operation that we mentioned is the gastric bypass. In the gastric bypass, as you can see in the videos, we will cut the stomach, creating a very small pouch, and we will cut the small bowel down the road. And now we'll connect them in a different way, not in the regular anatomic way. We're not going to remove any organ out. And people ask me, what happened to the stomach? Oh, nothing happens to the stomach. It still has the supply, has the supply of the uh, blood and nerves, and it continues to secrete the acid. But the main issue is that we cut the stomach and the small bowel, and we connect it in a different way. The gastric sleeve, on the other hand, we will take a large part of the stomach and remove it completely outside. The gastric band and the gastric sleeve are restrictive in nature, while the gastric bypass has restriction and maldigestion.